What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go underwater and we're gonna look at some of our ice jigs. <laughs> we're on baby, let's go. That's <laughs> a jumbo. Look at that. That's the biggest pear tree I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a bass. It's a bass. It's a big bass. It's just a giant mark on mine right now. First up underwater, we have the Bobby Garland crappie shimmy stick, and this bait literally is a killer. We like to fish straight-tailed plastics for small panfish, right? Early ice, panfish, a straight-tailed crappie, little nibble on there is going to get you bit. We also like to bounce it off the bottom a lot. It brings in panfish. They really enjoy seeing that bait bounce off the bottom. And that straight tail, whip tail bait, if you want to, is really going to be effective in catching those early ice panfish. Tungsten jig head is a must on everything. It's way better feel, gets down there faster. Dang. I don't know how long that one was on there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're doubled up. Doubled up. Still not big enough. Dink City. They're gonna be rolling through. Oh yeah. We they got... didn't, remember they didn't start yeah. until ten o'clock last time. The good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh yeah. There we go. What is up? Dink Central. Man, you wanted that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want it when they eat it like that. Ooh, oh, there we go. There's a nice drop. That's, that's a good that one. That one came from nowhere. Hold that one sideways there, Rico. If you can get it. Now that's a crappie. Oh, yeah. There's a good chap. There's a 12 incher. Next option is still on a tungsten head, always tungsten head, it just fishes better, is a creature or beaver style ice plastic. Here's a microplastic by 13 Fishing, and this bait, Caden calls it the Sea Dog Spesh, it literally is responsible for most of Caden's bigger panfish catches. Um, Caden lives on the ice, he literally spends every day of ice season out there ice fishing, he loves it, and this is his go-to bait. Um, any kind of creature or beaver style bait does really, really well on bigger size panfish. Once again, bouncing it off the bottom, letting it spiral down is really effective um, in getting these things done. So literally fishing it the same way as the whip tail bait, but it's just going to get a different, bigger bite. I catch a lot of bass on this bait too. Um, it's a killer. Come on, baby. Hooked up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What is that? oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a jumbo. Look at that. Oh my. That's the gosh. biggest perch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> How do you feel right now? That is what. We got to get the bump out on that. That's insane. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, look, at look at the gut that. on that thing. Oh my gosh. I, Measure it, dude. Point. That's a big one. Next up here, we have paddle tail baits. Now, paddle tail baits can be really effective on walleye and perch. They have that same whip tail action, but they have a different spiral on the fall. They tend to be really effective in clear water, and they do stand up nicely on the bottom. Sometimes, fish are going to suspend and a paddle tail falling past their face will make them go down to the bottom because of that swimming action and it's a different look but you can also jig it and it'll have good action on there always on a tungsten jig we really are effective in doing that 
um, in early ice or late ice, these baits tend to excel. It's a different look that fish aren't normally used to seeing. Same principle here, we have the grub, and we call this the tornado right here. When you get crappie feeding suspended, this bait is a killer spiraling past them. And you can see here in that action, it's got a ton of action, right? The only downside of this bait is sometimes that tail gets hung up, but really this is a great bait to fish over deeper water because you get that spiraling fall. If crappie are suspended, you can catch some of the biggest ones in the school fishing a chartreuse whiptail grub, a white whiptail grub, they're gonna go right past their face and they're gonna chase it down and eat it. This bait also works exceptionally well with active crappie and bass, just that spiral fall. And then here is a ice killer, the jigging wrap, right? The jigging wrap is gonna fall like a bullet. It's also gonna dance, right? It was designed to dance. Sometimes we tip it with a grub or a minnow. Um, it's got three hooks on it. It's got that belly hook on it. It's got the two front and back hooks. Most of the fish you're gonna catch on the jigging wrap are gonna get multiple hooks in them. We like to put a grub on the treble or a minnow on the treble to entice it. But the jigging wrap gets down in a hurry. It also does a really good job expanding your range underwater. If you watch it on the quick motion here, it tends to hop in a circle if you jig it right. So instead of jigging you know, like, you know, that three inch circle under your hole, you get a two to three foot radius out of a jigging wrap. You can watch a lot of fish get called in. Sometimes we won't catch them on the jigging wrap, but we'll call fish over to the holes on deeper spots with the jigging wrap. It was designed to be an actively fished bait and it does a fantastic job of putting a lot of walleye, a lot of perch, a lot of bass on the ice for us. Caden has ultimate faith in this bait. He fishes it a lot when he's going for bigger fish or deeper structure areas and he has a lot of times where he's caught good fish on it. What's up you guys? Hopefully you guys like that underwater footage of some of the ice fishing stuff. Uh, stay tuned if you guys want to see something different, especially with ice fishing. Uh, we'll start going under the water, doing more ice jig videos. Uh, we'll do some jig and wrap videos. If you guys want to see something different, let us know in the comments. Hopefully you guys like today's video and we'll get back at you.